In this series, we're scratch printing a coal mine in the end scale based off of Walther's kit using Tinkercad and Cura. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. We're going to start right now. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route. Welcoming you to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Like I, this is a series that I'm going to be uploading every three to five days. Videos will be five to ten minutes long, and it's going to take you through the whole process in about four, five, six parts, like I said. Um, that's how many pieces there are in the model. The model is based off a Walther's kit, as I said, and um, it was printed, uh, made, created in Tinkercad by me and then taken over to Cura to be sliced, and I had a little help with the printing. And so today's video is going to be about three little projects I did that prepared me to help me learn where I was able to do this coal mine. The first one is a little cabin that I did in Tinkercad, and I'll show that to you right now. little cabin that I made this is going to be my house and it actually sits down in the uh, old helix the first helix down there by that little pine and so what I did is this is Tinkercad and I actually came in and designed this cabin um, myself it wasn't too too hard it took me about a week or so I guess and uh, what I did was I just used the actual logs themselves to build the log cabin um, I've changed my strategy for doing structures since this time, but I went ahead and I built this like this and I printed this like this as well. And I'll show you the printing process in just a second for this project. And so after a unsuccessful print or two, I learned that I needed to go ahead and pull some of these like this roof, for example, I couldn't print it with the roof on because there's nothing holding the roof up right here and 3d printing has to be has to land on something so you can't have space without supports and that caused it actually printed okay but it caused problems for me um, because uh, it didn't lay down right in certain places and it caused other places to mess up as a result so what I'll do now is I'm going to show you this printing process and how it turned out The second was a very weirdly shaped tunnel portal that covered four different train tracks in different levels and areas over here by Sats Mill. I'm going to show that to you right now. And then we're going to go to the tunnel portals that I made. And this was a lengthy process because the portals were very weirdly shaped is the best way I could put it. And so what we did is we went through several options, uh, several test pieces, etc., cetera, and, and so on, before we ended up coming up with this. And um, you'll see the process in just a second, all the test pieces that came through. But at the end of the day, we ended up with a piece that looks just like this. And actually, this is going to cover several of the portals themselves. And um, so here it is. I'm going to show you how we printed that now.
All right, what you're looking at are the portals that cover four layers of the helix right there by Jerry Satt's mill. Uh, this one right here is the Leyden portal. And this one right here is the Rocky portal. All right, they were created on a CAD program and then I had them printed. And you really couldn't, it was some really weird measurements. It's actually in two pieces and I did adhere them together. And finally, the third project, Jerry Satt's mill is actually a water mill, but it didn't have a water wheel. So I did begin the water wheel project and it's there, not completed, but it's there right now. I'm gonna show that to you. Is we did a water wheel to go beside Jerry Sats Mill right down there by the waterfall and where that portal comes down this uh, water wheel is right close in there and so we spent a little time um, designing this we actually um, did most of this ourselves I actually borrowed one piece from um, somebody on here I don't know. and so what you do is once you design one of these things you use a, a website or an app uh, a platform called cura c-u-r-a and so you design your thing you want 3d printed and then you export the file um, i've downloaded cura already and that's what this is here and so what happens is this is going to convert this into layers and show us the 3D printing process. This program right here is where we put the uh, jump drive in and we uh, get the information from Cura and plug it straight into the 3D printer and then we'll get our product. Um, the process is not super difficult. Um, and Cura brings it up many settings you can play with here and more in custom basically what i do is you look in here you want to make sure that your bottom is all blue because that's where everything the foundation if there's anything that's not blue there that's going to cause you problems anywhere you see red is a potential problem not for sure but a potential problem and that's because you have nothing for this to print on top of so you got to hope that the area is small enough to adhere to each other without it caving in. For the, it did pretty much for the most part. I'm going to show you that right now, the finished product. And so what we do is we slice and you save to your jump drive. So it would take three hours and 24 minutes to print this. It's not super big. It looks like it's only about uh, 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters or 50 millimeters by 60 milliliters. It's 15 grams, okay, of filament and it's gonna um, basically you get a thousand grams on a roll if i'm not mistaken um, so this would not take up much of your roll at all um, you could look, filament goes a long way um, as i've said before this is a series and in the next episode i'm going to show you how i put together the the truck loading building right here and I do want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to leave a comment below. I'm going to upload the first coal mine video in three to five days. And it's on the facility where the actual trucks would uh, pick up coal from the truck loading facility. I'm going to show that to you in about three to five days. Check back in. If you have not already, check the bell icon so you know when I do upload this video. I thank you for stopping in today. Please leave a comment below. I always enjoy that. Please like the video if you feel that way and share this with your other modeling friends. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western. This is the introductory video to my scratch print coal mine series. I'm glad you joined me. Thank you.